TCU 38, Kansas 31. Now, this one happened in Lawrence. Really interesting spot. Uh, Go on and pull up the stats, of course, for you so that you can see exactly what we're looking at. And, da 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 All right. TCU won 38-31. They won third downs 45-36. Uh, only one fourth down failure to two for Kansas. Uh, the home dog won yardage 540-452. to So, uh, Kansas outgained them by almost 100 yards. They outdid them on a yards per play basis, 7.5 to 7.1. They outrushed them 189-144. to Turnovers were equal, two apiece. Um, along with that, drive points were equal, 21 to 21. Uh, Daniels was hurt early. Jalen Daniels, uh, he was hurt early. And then Bean came in and was awesome. I mean, the, the backup had huge numbers. If you look at this, uh, Jason Bean was 16 out of 24 for 262 with four touchdowns and one pick. I mean, he, he basically equaled what Max Duggan did. Duggan was 23 out of 33 for 308 and three touchdowns with one pick. Like, I, yeah, Holy Salad said, uh, said Kansas, just too many mistakes on offense. So, it, I don't think it was necessarily that. I will tell you that this was a beautifully called game by that Kansas offensive staff. And the defense didn't do terribly. Like, I'm telling you, there is still a massive roster difference here. Like, it, there's... There's really no reason why Kansas should be in some of these games other than just absolute perfect coaching week in and week out by this Jayhawks team. They are so freaking good. Like, it blows my mind how good they are. And uh, TriStar said, I think if Jalen Daniels doesn't get hurt, Kansas wins. Eh. I mean, Daniels on the day uh, had seven carries for six yards and was five out of ten passing for 89 yards and no scores. I don't necessarily think that he would have led them to a win. I think Jason Bean played out of his mind. And the idea of Bean coming in was a little bit of a change of pace. Now, they're pretty similar players somewhat, but Bean does some things differently than Daniels, and TCU was ready for Daniels. They were not ready for Jason Bean at all. And you could see it in the third quarter. I mean, the game was 10-3 to at the half, and both teams come out and score three touchdowns each in the third quarter. It was, you know, 42 total points in that quarter. And then in the fourth quarter, they had kind of figured it out again. Both teams score one touchdown. I mean, that's how you get 38-31. to 31. So, I this is, this is really interesting to me, uh, looking at what this team is going forward. Kansas has to go play Oklahoma next week. And I think it's actually in Lawrence, if I'm not mistaken. Um I might be mistaken. I don't remember exactly where that game is. Regardless, Kansas should actually be favored in that game. How often do we say this? Like it, it's kind of a, a shocking result to me that we would even be in that situation. Uh, when you look at the win probability here, it's it's just kind of nuts that we got to a point only a couple of times where Kansas's win probability was over 60%. This was a tight ball game. So, Holy South said it was a great game. TCU was just better. Yeah, at the end of the day, that's exactly what the situation was. And I still think Kansas is a good football team. I think TCU-Oklahoma State this coming weekend is going to be a lot of fun. But I I expect big things from Kansas throughout the season. Like, I don't think this is the only loss that they'll take. But they impressed me yesterday. I thought TCU was going to blow them out of the water. Did not happen. College game day, by the way, in Lawrence. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic atmosphere. I thought it was great. Uh, Everything about that place was awesome. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.